welcome everyone to what might become something. I, I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be, but I figure it's just something, you know, like if I have something to do, maybe I might capture it. Maybe people will find it interesting or maybe people will just hate it, never watch it. It will probably be the latter. Today I'm tackling a little bit something that has to do with my yard. At least I'm getting what I need for my yard. I actually have to wait for a couple of days of no rain to put this product down. And <clears throat> let's take a walk around my yard real fast. I'll show you what I mean. It is the second step in my five step process that I use every year in my lawn. The first step, I kind of like I'm a foreigner with my thumb. The first step was pre-emergent, which you put it down on your grass and it keeps any weeds that haven't been growing from growing. So if you had grown in the spring, you're gonna have a horrible year that first year, but then the next spring you would put down that pre-emergent. And you wanna put this fairly early. Like in our area, what I found in the last couple of years is that you're better off doing that in March than any other time of year. Okay, so April's a little too late. Um, so around second, third week of March, maybe even earlier, depending on if it's a warmer spring, you put that down. Boom. And you want to use some kind of broadcast spreader um, to do that. Um, there's lots of different kinds, kinds that you walk sort of like a lawnmower in front of you that just evenly spreads the product out. Usually on the back of the bag, there is a number and that number will tell you what to set your spreader at. Mine's just a hand one, but I don't have a humongous yard. I never claim to, um, but <laughs> since I grew a lot of it from seed, <clears throat> I care about it a lot, just put it that way. And my yard's not perfect. There's lots of problems with it. I mean, right here, we got some bare spots. And this right here, you see this is some weeds, stuff that I don't want in my yard right there. And that's what the second step's gonna do. And that's called a post-emergent. And a post-emergent uh, is different than all the other products. The rest of the products, you want to put down on your yard when it's fairly dry and then you want to wet them so that they sink down into the grass <clears throat> and affect the soil and the roots but with the second step that's the only one that's different and you need a, a you need like two days where it's not going to be raining and what you want to do is you want to wet your lawn first then put down the product so that it sticks to the leaves of the weeds and then, uh, and you want it to stick there for a couple of days. So you need a couple of days with no rain to do it. Like, I'm not gonna be able to put this product down today. <clears throat> I'll probably, you'll probably see it in the video, but it will be a couple of days later because I have to wait for a couple of days of no rain and it's supposed to rain tonight. It's supposed to rain at some point tomorrow. So I'm thinking Monday night, I'll probably put it down on Monday evening. What makes sure the lawn's nice and wet, I'll put it down and we should be good until about Wednesday evening according to the forecast. This will be my trusty steed for the adventure. It's a 2013 Toyota Camry. You know, very impressive. It'll probably be mostly adventures. You know, sometimes there's a ski rack on top of it in the winter to go skiing, but very, very common transport. If I had the money, I'd like to have something electric, you know, but it's good old gasoline, I guess, till, till we all figure out that it's uh, something we shouldn't be doing. So, um, we are going out right now during uh, COVIDian times, as I like to call it. We've all been uh, 
signed up for a cult we didn't want to be in by being stuck at home and not being able to go out. So I have some percussions. I have this mask. And because uh, hand sanitizer <laughs> is so sparse, we went to a friend of ours, uh, um, their first communion, their daughter's first communion, and at the giveaway baskets, they had a bunch of these. So she <laughs> gave us a bunch of these because we couldn't get hand sanitizer anywhere. But, it, and it works and it's good, but it smells like peppermint, so. My hands are constantly smelling it peppermint. If, if I do go out, they smell a lot like peppermint. So oh, we're gonna go for a little bit of a drive. You can come with. All right. Uh, before I go in, actually, I just want to show you this is what I'm dealing with here. See these hardware. Um, if you, you can't really see, but some of the people here, if you look, they all have masks on. The gentleman there has one on. But uh, yeah, so. Okay, so that was a successful adventure. It took a, a lot longer than uh, normal. Obviously they had to, you know. Um, I was lucky in the fact that I didn't have to wait to get in the store. At the time there wasn't too many people in the store and I was able to get right in. Um, however, when I left the store, I'm not sure if you can see me, there's a couple people, uh, those, those are all people waiting to get in the store. And I am maybe, oh, I want to say about 50 feet from the door. So if we go straight back, he's about 50 feet from the door. There's a good 20 people in line. Matter of fact, that purple shirt, she's curved around. So there's people waiting this way and then it's curving around and going like that. So uh, yeah, it took a, a little bit of time. But what they did have in there that they just got a pallet in last night was hand sanitizer. So at least my hands aren't going to smell like uh, peppermint anymore. So I am going to partake in some of that right now. Shall I? Oh yeah, fun scented hand sanitizer. It's perfect. Oh yeah, I bought two. One for my car, one for Michelle's. And now that that is that, this is what I got. It's real simple. It's the Ace Weed and Feed. Well, it's been raining for the last couple of days and it, it just stopped at some point earlier today. It was actually misting. Misting is still kind of coming down, um, but not to the point that I feel it's gonna wash the product out. I think it's uh, perfectly good to put down the product. It should stick to the leaves fairly well and uh, do the job that it's supposed to do, kill those weeds. So I guess I lucked out. Look, now the sun's peeking through the clouds. Okay, so we're gonna be putting the product down. It's gonna get rid of little sections of my grass where I have some unwanted items like this clover right here. Um, again, I'm using the Ace Weed and Feed. This is their second step project or post-emergent product. Your first step is a pre-emergent. Your second is a post-emergent. Your third should be some kind of fertilizer. Your fourth should be continuing that same fertilizer and your fifth should be a winterizer, okay? So we're putting down the post-emergent and um, it's a pretty good bag for what it is. I mean, normally I would go to an irrigation store and get a really, really good bag of stuff, but those places are all closed and trying to get something online is just, it's too expensive and it's taking too long during the coronavirus right now. So I'm gonna be using this handheld spreader right here, which is, you know, um, basically it's called a handy green. It's made by Scott. Um, I, I believe the setting for it is probably gonna be somewhere between a three and a four. 
Mine, I don't think will do three and a half. So it says right here, Scott's uh, rotary spreaders. And it says the DLX or the mini is three and a half. So I'll just keep mine set on four and I'll, I'll do, this will be enough to cover my whole yard. I don't need a really, really, really big bag. As you can see, I don't have a really, really big yard. So this should be enough to cover the whole thing. And, and right now, with it misting, I think it'll be perfectly fine. It'll stick to the grass fine. I don't need to uh, wet the yard or anything. I think it will work work out great. All right, so this is what the product looks like once it's in the hopper. We just turn this and it spreads it around. So basically, I'm just going to go through the strip, go over the lawn, back and forth until I've reached every part of the lawn and then I'm going to hit the side of my yard and do the same thing. Okay, so I finished putting the product on my lawn back there. I threw it down there and I, you know, and uh, um, I'm hoping in a couple of weeks I'll see those that grass start to pop up even more you know I'm pretty satisfied with it so far with the pre-emergent this is the post-emergent and I'm just I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm just really kind of paying it forward you know uh, a couple years ago when I, I did this project you know I didn't really know what I was doing I, I kind of knew what I was doing uh, but you know it was really thanks to YouTube and me watching a lot of the other uh, people out there sharing their stories and how they uh, dealt with growing grass from seed that that helped me um, get my yard to where it is now. And, and it's not the greatest yard in the world, but you know, like I grew from seeds, so uh, you know, I'm proud of it. But the, the basic idea of this channel is I just, I wanna be doing all kinds of little stuff, not just chores like this, but like going, when I go skiing, maybe documenting some of that. And when I go to an amusement park, documenting some of that, just you know, going around and doing things. Hopefully this virus will be over, um, you know, within the next, <laughs> Let's hope within this year we can return to some kind of normalcy and, you know, be able to go out again and, and uh, you know, just share, share this world together. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of great things to be done. And if this, this little shut-in has taught me anything is to appreciate all the little things that are in my life that I was just sort of taking for granted. So I hope that you know that I don't take any of you for granted. And I would love it if you hit that like button, hit subscribe. That would be amazing. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next adventure. Thanks.